My name is Maggie. I'm a closet organizer as well as stylist based in Toronto. You can find me as always on Instagram at Essential Styling Teal. If it's your first time coming across my YouTube channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and at the end, leave me a comment so I can say hi. I am super excited to do this video because you know I haven't done a closet reaction, like a sit down closet reaction, in a minute, and I'm just really excited to do it. Today, we're gonna do a closet reaction on Allegra Shaw. She is an influencer, she is a blogger, she is a business owner, she is a YouTuber, she has so many titles and I am all here for it. And plus, she's from Toronto. Yay! I really wanted to do this because she has such an amazing sense of fashion and when I was researching for, you know, a closet reaction to do this time, I came across her video that she posted in March and I thought, why not react to her closet? I love doing closet reaction. It's like me watching but with like a group of friends as always I'm gonna leave the link of the full video of her closet tour in the description box below as well as her Instagram so go on her Instagram follow her subscribe to her YouTube channel like her videos and leave her a comment saying that I sent you because that would be so cool and she also does have a clothing line I will leave the link of it down in the description box below so you can go ahead and shop you know support small businesses so let's get into this video because I am really excited to see how her closet look because she looks looks very put together and she's a fashionista and I know she's gonna have like an amazing organization system so let's get straight into this video hey guys welcome to my closet tour I'm gonna walk you through my downstairs and upstairs closets and how I organize and store everything and some of my favorite pieces so this is my front entranceway closet um, I keep all of my long winter coats in here and I keep my some of my boots in here as well um, I'm trying to get as much into my closet as possible so everything is like kind of shoved in but also very organized so I have all my coats my favorite ones this juicy one is really nice um I love you guys know I love I love coats so I everyone in this is my favorite and then above here we have scarves and like hats and they're just an easy basket <laughs> Okay. They're just in these baskets from Ikea. Uh, Ikea has like really great organizational baskets and stuff. This closet actually is Ikea. It's just uh, the pack system. My contractor ended up like cutting some stuff and like making sure everything fit. And then I put these mirrored fronts on the top. I, I mean, I didn't do it. I got a company to do it, but overall, this closet was way cheaper than doing custom closet and um, I mean we'll talk about it more in my apartment tour coming soon but uh, this is an Ikea closet which is incredible Okay, so just stopping there absolutely having an Ikea pack system and you can customize it to whatever space whatever measurement you know you're trying to fit that closet in works and it's way cheaper than an actual custom closet from the actual custom closet companies um when she said her closet is organized although everything is shoved in I, I think I understand what she means you know she's pretty much saying like she knows exactly what's inside of that closet she knows exactly you know the system and the way it's set up that's organization for her I think just a little bit of decluttering just to make more room and her clothes will be able to breathe better I think it will definitely help with that closet space because it's not a big space and she's trying to utilize it to the best that she can and I do love the idea of putting basket up top storing all of her scarves and a very good way of utilizing space and also like at the bottom we saw the shoes down there and I think those are like her everyday shoes the system still works I think maybe we can add you know the rollout trays that Ikea has you can actually double store the shoes so there's like one on top and one on the bottom but yeah yeah, so far so good so let's keep going okay and this one is all my short coats so down below i have my puffers and up above i have just like my leathers and like other random kind of like other coats it goes back pretty far like probably like half an arm back um but i just all my coats are there nothing much else to show here this one has to close this one to open here we have all of my boots and my organizer shelly who is absolutely incredible she'll be linked down below uh, she organized them color, color coordinated, and then we have one facing out and one facing in, so you can see the whole shoe, and it also saves space. 
Okay, so, so I like that. I like how she has all of her coats. It's more of like a double hanging uh, closet. I think that's a great way to utilize that space because she does have a lot of outerwear. One thing I think though that would make that space look super neat, it's properly color coordinating them like having all the whites or all the neutral colors up top and then all the blacks and the dark colors at the bottom i think that will just make that closet really stand out i do have to agree with her the closet for her shoes it's super organized i love organizing shoes by facing them in two different directions because it just saves us more space so that way you can you know pack more items in one section as well as you get to see the shoes right away when you open your closet and it's also properly color coordinated and i love it it's it's very clean, so that's definitely a beautiful shoe closet. Well, this is my bag situation. Um, I don't actually have that many bags, so it fits just in this one little compartment. Again, color coordinated, and in the drawers I have like uh, like clutches. Those are like backpacks, and, like fanny packs, and then here I have scarves, tights, and scarves. Wait, scarves. Silk scarves and tights. I just have like bucket hats and stuff here. And then also this sick and one visor from when I was in grade four. So it's yellow, that's disgusting. And then again, more hats down here. Uh, I think one thing that can totally help Allegra Shaw in her closet would be labeling um, so that way she doesn't you know get them confused to what is what I think labeling is great so when you're putting things back you know exactly where they go when she was talking about the bags or she doesn't have a lot of bags I'm like that's a lot of bags it's still a very healthy amount than most people have seen but nothing is wrong with that I love that concept of color coordinating your bags it's such a great way for you to see exactly all the amount of pieces you have so that way when it comes to a time where you are cleaning up like spring you just fill in the blank of the missing colors that you don't have or maybe give one away donate one to your favorite charities so I do love color coordinating bags or accessories it just makes the space look super neat and very organized as well and visually appealing I actually have space in this one which makes me very happy because there's not a lot of space in the rest of the closets um, I keep all of, it's kind of similar to my old apartment, um, I keep all of my dresses here, excuse me, all of my short dresses here, I have some wide brim hats, and then, I, okay guys, stop, and then I have like knee high boots just here, my jewelry is still all in these felt things, I do need to do a jewelry clean out though, like does anyone need this many gold chains, I don't know. This drawer makes me very happy. It's just very organized. Um, sunglass cases, sunglasses, some jewelry cases, phone cases. I was obsessed with matching my phone case to my outfit last year, so I love phone cases. Some belts, just random stuff. And then we have Converse, <laughs> sneakers, some docks. So these are all like my flat casual shoes, ones that I reach for um, kind of on the regular. Sandals, my Vans, and then some more sneakers. Big, big Reebok girl, if you can tell. And so the way she has her shoes organized with the pull-out trays, it's exactly what I was talking about with the first closet that she showed us. Maybe she does have it and we just didn't get to see it, so I take that back. But that's exactly what I was talking about. Having the pull-out trays that has the risers just gives you so much room to organize and fit more items, especially if you're someone that have a lot of pair of shoes. I love the fact that she also mentioned that she wants to declutter her jewelry. I agree. Nobody needs that many pair of gold necklaces, but who cares? You can have as many as you want, as long as you're actually wearing every single one of them. I also have to point out though, she does have matching hangers. She has different hangers. I think at the start of the video, the front closets, I think she has wooden hangers and then as you go in, she has the gold hangers. Either way, I love them and I like the fact that she's using them in two different space in her wardrobe and not mixing all of them for one closet. That's okay. You can have two set of, you know, different hangers, but just make sure you're not using them all together because it tends to make the space look quite cluttered and messy in my opinion. So separate them for different part of your closet. That's totally fine. Long dresses go here 
and my trench coats go here. But that said, I am going to bring this down because Uncle is going to come with the trench coat soon. And uh, I'm going to bring this section down. But yeah, these are like lightweight long jackets. And then all of my long dresses, some jumpsuits. I don't think there's anything under here. And then down here, like, are big, big bags that don't fit over there. So more, more like travel bags and stuff. And then this is also a little closet. I just don't have a handle on it right now, so I can't open it, but it's for rooms. First of all, she has such a beautiful collection of all these jackets. I, I leave for it. Um, I am really huge on letting go of things and decluttering so that way all your items that remains are truly being appreciated. You're really taking care of them because when you shove in a lot of things in one space, there's a lot of things that could happen such as college transferred, humidity. It can be a lot for fabrics which can also reduce the longevity of the item. It's very unfortunate that the other closet could not happen because she doesn't have a handle on it. I really wish we had seen what was in there, but let's move on. Let's go upstairs. Okay, so this is my upstairs closet and everything is kind of like subject to change right now. You'll see the whole done apartment in my apartment tour, but this is what's working for me right now. So when you first walk in, you have, this is a custom closet by California Closets. When you first walk in, you have this set of drawers and I have uh, like bras, underwear, socks, pajamas. I don't even live here, so I don't know where anything is. <laughs> Workout clothes, and then I think these are bathing suits. Drawers are really nice because like everything's kind of like tucked away. You don't have to see it. Here, I keep all my perfumes. And then kind of like all around, I have shoes. Like you can see up there. I keep all like my heels and stuff. But I think when we when I show you, I guess I'll just show you now. On this side, I have all my makeup here, which is like I don't really want it to be in here. So when we get a better office and I move all my makeup to our office, I'll probably move the shoes down here. But for now, these boxes are from Ikea and then they're just labeled and everything's very organized. So that's good for now. If you want to- I am loving this. Like now I kind of get it. The downstairs is where she keeps all her heavy pieces, like the coats, the jackets, sneakers. Like in the upstairs, it's like her dress up room, fancier closet. And she also mentioned it is a custom closet. So it's like stunning. And I also can tell that she did have a closet organizer just based on how the things were organized inside of those drawers. If you really paid attention, everything was file folded, which is my all time um, I can tell that someone did come in her wardrobe and organized her wardrobe for her. They created a system. I love the concealed makeup boxes. It just makes the space looks not as cluttered. If she had displayed all the makeup out, I love how they're white and then they just have labels. Stunning. That's exactly what I would have done if she didn't have a space for her makeup yet. I love that idea. I love how she says she has all of her fancier shoes, her high heels in that room and eventually she's going to switch them over to the shoe shelf that's such a great way to utilize the space that you have at the moment and it's revolving she can always change it up loving it so let's keep going the stool is because i'm short okay so we have pants fold my pants is just easy for me and obviously they should be folded better but like this is what it's like right now here i have my leather pants because these are also something i gravitate and reach for all the time um, this is laundry, so that's good. I don't know what's going to go here yet. These are new items that need to be organized. And then here we have like sweatpants and leggings. And then below we have sweatshirts and some um, like silky pajamas. So these are all like comfy, comfy clothes. And then um, I have some hangers left, which is great. So the hangers that I use are these gold ones off Amazon. Again, will be linked down below. So I use these ones for all my shirts and stuff, and then shirts and like sweatshirts. And then I got the child version. Look how cute these are. And these are for, I use these for pants because they don't like teeter. And I use them for like tiny shirts, like tank tops and stuff. And then 
I guess. I absolutely love the idea of the hangers, having like a regular size hangers and having a baby hangers. And I agree, once you, you know, fold them inside of your hanger, it's not gonna move a lot because there's not a lot of space. So I love the fact that her jeans were color coordinated. It's beautiful. Where she has her leather pants, I think the empty shelf that's in the middle, maybe she can bring the leather pants down to that empty shelf. It would make more sense to keep the top one open. So she can use that almost like a display section. So there we have, oh gosh, we have t-shirts. <laughs> These are like colored black white long sleeves so just tops and then over here there's body suits this whole section of sweaters and it's crazy because i actually don't even like sweaters that much but i just i have a lot of them i could probably do a purge but color coordinated from like light to dark and then goes into patterns yeah down below we have blazers some blazers go to about here we have some jackets and then these are all like my colored shirts so again color coordinated and then under here <laughs> Under this pile, we have skirts, tube tops, shorts, jean shorts, jean shorts. So I'll probably move those to there, depending. But, um, and then behind there, I have some robes. Let's talk about this system. I love how she's really into color coordination and I think that makes her closet so easy for her when it comes to dressing up. I love how her t-shirts are color coordinated and same thing goes for her sweaters. Although she did admit that she's not really that much into sweaters, but she has tons. And I do agree, decluttering her closet, I think it's just gonna free up the space for her. I do love how it is set up. I like how everything is still within categories, but then also again, color coordinated. The shelf that's under her sweater sweaters and her shirts. I didn't even see that until she pointed it out. Yeah, definitely needs a little bit of love down there. And I do agree with her, maybe moving it to the empty shelf or using that whole section to organize the skirts and all those stuff that she has under there, I think will make more sense than storing them right under there because they can be easily forgotten. When you don't see items, you tend to not wear them. And when you don't wear them, they take up space in your closet. That's valuable really state that you can be using for other things. I want to show you these. So I got California closets and I added these little custom elements. So these are called valet pins. So you can like, when you're like planning an outfit, you know, you can like see it, which I think is really cool. Or you can just like, I can like hang my robe on there or whatever. I think I have this too. So same sort of deal. Um, you can like steam stuff. Just like easy, nice and easy to have. And then here, all my belts. I don't have a lot of belts, but this thing just like attaches all my belts. Makeup here, and that's it. That's my, my two closets. I have a lot of clothes, um, but this is how I organize. But again, I didn't do this, Shelly did it, and she's absolutely incredible. So if you're not, I'm really good at like putting things back, but I'm not good at like creating the system of organization. I really recommend an organizer if you're like me in that because she really honestly saved my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. Peace love. Bye. I love all those little finishing touches like the valet hook. It's such a great add-on. Like for me, I don't have it in my wardrobe because I have a bunch of racks. If you don't have the space to have, you know, a whole rack, definitely think about having hooks. I love the belt pull-out bar. It's a great storage uh, for your small accessories such as belt. You can even hang your accessories. I love her closet. I think, you know, her closet organizer did such an amazing job. And I also do like the fact that she knows herself, you know, she said, you know what? I'm not good at this, but I am like good at putting things back. So I think sometimes we just need someone to come and create a system that works for us in our lifestyle and just show us the way to maintain that system on an ongoing basis. Beautiful closets, both of them, just little tweaks here and there. They're not fully done yet because I think once she moves her makeup out of that closet, she'll be able to reconfigure it, the whole system. I think she's definitely has a lot of space and I think once they're officially done, I think it's gonna look really stunning. So let's rate her closet. In terms of functionality, functionality means it works. Its function is working well. Does Allegra Shaw's closet function is working well? 
absolutely it is functional so I'm gonna give her 10 out of 10 it is set up in a system in a way that works for her because she gets ready upstairs comes downstairs put on her jacket or her coat throws on her sneakers and leaves so that leads me to practicality is her closet practical because practicality simply means that it's the closet good and easy to use her closet is beautiful and it's good and it's easy to use couple tweaks here and there better organizing some pieces in those wardrobes that could be worked on and I think as I said again I don't think this is an official closet yet I think once they actually have it you know exactly how she envisioned it I think it's gonna look stunning so for practicality I'm gonna give her 8 out of 10 because I think the 2% is just gonna come from the finished products you know the official closet tours and the overall score of the aesthetic of her closet absolutely it's a 10 out of 10 she has a beautiful closet that I think every single one of us would die to have and she did get a closet organizer to come in and create a system for her and it just looks so beautiful and very clean and neat she has matching hangers and they also did a uh, file folding I love doing this closet reaction you know my whole intention when I do this is to never bash anyone because we all love our space and we all want our space to be a representation of who we are everybody you're gonna organize things differently because we all have different lifestyles different personal styles different you know routine so everybody's closet is going to be very different and I love when you know there's closet organizers that come in and take over and create functional spaces for the clients and you get to see the work like in her closet it's just a beautiful space so for that I truly enjoy watching this video so let me know in the comment box whose closet should I react to next if you like this video don't forget to give it a time up share it with everyone subscribe to my channel and again all of the like that shows informations and links are gonna be down in the description box so go there and follow her on Instagram subscribe to her YouTube channel I hope this was so much fun for you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video bye